You spent a lot of your career working with the arts. You led a major museum in Washington, D.C., the Smithsonian Museum of African Art. Your house is filled with art. You know the power of art in a democratic society. Talk about that. You know, Sister President, I give full credit to my mom for why I am hopelessly in love with the power of art. Because our house was adorned with reproductions. She wasn't, as we would say in the museum world, trained as an art historian, but she had the eye. And so I grew up just fascinated by the visual arts. But then as I discovered anthropology, I had the language to understand the arts, whether they are visual, or it's about theater, or dance, whatever form of the arts. It was anthropology that helped me to understand that it is simply the way that a culture, a people, through their arts, through their culture, speak to themselves, about themselves, to others, and of all things, to the world. And so my own concern is that for too much of our history, and her story, and their story, We've not understood the power of the arts. You talk about storytelling. That's storytelling. When I think about art over time, for much of that time, we have thought of art as a luxury. It's what the high Sididi folk can have. It's what only a few could possibly understand. Art is a necessity in the lives of all of us. Whether it is what happens when a mama decides to take whatever little pieces of cloth she's got to turn into a quilt, or when a Romare Bearden decides to take whatever are the pieces that make that collage. Those are not luxuries, those are necessities. Music has always played an important part of activism, really, right? And also maybe survival. I'm thinking about the Negro spirituals. Most folk call it jazz. I call it black improvisational music. Now I can't carry a tune in a bucket, but <laughs> This I know about jazz. And I think it was Max Roach who said, jazz is a democratic form of music. Why? You've got people with different instruments, different sounds, each playing their own sounds, but respecting the necessity for them to work together. Jazz is a democratic form of music. And yes, there's a moment when someone can take a solo on that bass or have a moment on those drums. But the entire experience is only best when everybody participates. That is a beautiful metaphor for inclusive democracy.